Hello folks. Right, so I've just got back from, well, for a walk, but I was in church first, so just come back from church, so, okay. Okay, about the service today, uh, what can I say? Worship was okay. Um, they had a different worship person doing the piano, piano bit or organ bit today. Um, that was okay. The only issue was is that the person who was doing the organ bit, she was worshiping God herself. So, yeah, I don't think she understands the point of being up there, because, yeah, when you when you when you're not up there, you can worship God, but when you're up there, you're supposed to be helping the people in front of you to work, worship God. It's not about you worshiping God; it's about them worshiping God. So yeah that wasn't great it was okay i mean generally speaking it was standard so yeah it's okay yeah i mean I say that is perfectly usual i mean they as i say they've got this worship conference next week so yeah <laughs> do i expect that that will be something that'll be mentioned during the conference that um that your job is to help them to worship it's not about you worshiping you worship in your private time but in your ministry well it's just like um if, if at any point in time God wants me to go out there and teach people, yeah, what I'm saying is not about what I want to say to God or about God. It's what he wants to say. It's about the people in front of me, not about me. If it's about me, it won't work. At all. And so, yeah. Are they going to mention that? I don't think so. I think that is unlikely. Um, then they did a communion, which is what they do, so okay. Um, well, again, obviously, it was what it was. They've not sorted that out yet. They've not put bread and wine there, so okay, it was what it was. Um, the problem was is that they were doing a song called Thank You, Jesus, for the Blood, first of all. So, Thank You, Jesus, for the Blood. Then they're going to do communion where the Lord said, when he picked up the wine, this represents my blood. And the church is basically saying, anything red and liquidy represents your blood. So they're not going according to scripture when it comes to that. Um, and they've highlighted his blood beforehand in a song. And they're not going, it seems a bit sort of, you're rubbing it in sort of thing. Yeah, by the song, it's you're dishonouring him by communion the way you do it, but then you're rubbing it in by the song you put first, focusing on the blood. It's like, right. No, not intentional. No, I don't believe it's intentional in any way, shape or form. But it's like, okay. And yeah, the pastor started off reading other scriptures. So he read um, Psalm 118 from verse 19 down, a few verses down there. And then I thought, okay. So long as he doesn't mention what the Lord said, when you do this in remembrance of me, it's not too bad because you're not actually brought that scripture into it about when he said, you know, do this, exactly what he, he did. But then he mentioned it. I thought, oh no, why did you do that? If you hadn't mentioned that, it wouldn't have been so bad, but then you've got to mention that. You've got to mention where he said, do this in remembrance of me. Do what I've just done in remembrance of me. And you just mentioned that. So you're saying that what you're doing is doing that. And you're not doing it. Yeah. And yeah, at that point I just said, you sure? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they've just done this because, again, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that none of this is intentional as a way of dishonouring the Lord. Absolutely and totally. I don't think it's intentional at all. But it is doing that. Well, as I say, you, you don't need to do communion at all. But my understanding is if you're going to do it, do it properly. Same as anything, if you're going to do it, do it properly. Well, why do it? You don't have to do it, but yeah. So, yeah, as I say, It, it's so incredibly frustrating it really is it is so incredibly frustrating because you know it's it, as i say it, it's those little bits in it it's, it's those little things 
yeah but there's so many little things so many little things that are just wrong and not understood that it's they all add up to something so much bigger and they all add up to that's why god isn't really working in the church well, not to the degree that you know we, the church needs him to not to that you know so yeah it's as i say it's difficult it is difficult and yeah as i said i'm yeah I have no idea. And to be honest, in me, there, there was there was a tiny bit of... When I first went in there today, there was a tiny bit of, I don't really want to speak to certain people in this church. Because I know they don't like me. I know they've made a point of saying they don't like me. And, you know, by their actions. And I don't really want to speak to them. But then weirdly, a few of those people that have been doing that in the past actually spoke to me today. Yeah. Okay. I'll get to another bit that's interesting in a minute. Um, I've got to... My phone has um, gone dodgy. Try not to open it. There you go, opened. <laughs> so then, um, anyway, started talking about the, the ministry. And the ministry was pretty much on expectation, hope. Um, we're talking about some hope that's valid, some that's invalid. Um, yeah, and how the devil will do things, etc., etc., etc. Um, which uh, which was fine. Well, as I say, it was solid enough scripturally. Um, was it anything that I would say is going to change someone's life? I would hope so. Um, but put it this way, I mean, yeah. Do I expect, certainly before God does something incredible, do I expect to ever be in church and receive a message that I'm going to be thinking, wow, that was incredible? No. I do not. And so, was this a good message? Was it solid? Yes. Um, scripture it was. Um, It was talking about talking about hope, talking about the fact that um, you know, hope not met, and <laughs> I'm sitting there going, "Father, are you kidding me? Hope not met, really? I've got this thing on Thursday in court, and um, yeah, with the dogs, and I've had all this hope that's not been met, and yeah, and yeah, of course, recently, I mean, even a case of I think yesterday." I was saying to father about all of that and saying, yeah. Yeah, I'm, well, I did a video, didn't I? Saying, you know, are you wanting to glorify yourself in this situation or not? Um, yeah, basically readying, readying myself for it not to happen. Again. Um, and I actually believe that on Thursday it probably won't happen and that's because if God is saying to me that I'm going to move before the dogs come back and I'm still in the same place then it means that a decision probably won't be made and that's not good it just means it keeps dragging on and on and on and on um, but okay why I don't know um, but okay that was that um, he then at one point went into he who began a good work in you in Christ Jesus you know that he will continue that until the Lord comes back and yeah I'm like well maybe not because that really is based upon because he, he mentioned the point about obedience and the point of with his children he taught obedience because obedience the second time of asking is disobedience but the problem is, and he talked about um, the Jewish people, that when you know they had that doubt, then they sent scouts to look at the promised land and said no. Well, 10 said no, 2 said yes. 
But the people then said, well, we're not going in then. And then God basically said, okay, you're not going in. You are not going in. All of you have to die before you know, the people will go in there. Now, this is the point, and this is why some people will miss out, and that the work that the Lord began might not be finished. Well, because if we read about the seeds, you know, some seed dies pretty quickly because of the ground it's on, other seed dies a bit later because of the ground it's on, other seed dies a bit later, and then one seed out of four produces fruit, good fruit. If that's the case, then obviously the problem with that is, and the problem with he, he who began a good work in you, in Christ Jesus, will complete that work. Everybody in church thinks they are that. Although not everyone is that. And so, yeah. But as I say, that's why to me, all of this is incredibly frustrating because, you know, yeah. But then, okay, so then after the service, um, I met the pastor's wife, so that's cool. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, overall, put it this way, the service was okay. If you look at the worship and the service itself, it was okay. I mean, I'm not, okay isn't fantastic, obviously, but it was okay. It wasn't awful. So, well, hey! <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't good, but it wasn't awful. You know, so, okay, yeah. Well, then, anyway, um, then a lady came up to me. I've seen her a few times. And she called me by name, and she said that God had put me on her heart. And then she mentioned about my son, James. She didn't mention his name, but said about my son. And said that God had told her that my past was really, really bad. And it's like, yeah, okay. And so I spoke to her a bit about, yeah, what's what's happening right now. Um, but I asked her about her, and she said that she has um, a really bad chest situation that's supposed to be terminal. Um, she said she doesn't want anyone to, to pray for her, for healing. I said, I'm not going to do that. I said, what, what, what I'm going to talk to you about is receiving because it's already been done. I said, what really annoys me with regards to church, one of the things that really you know, annoys me about church is there's just a lack of understanding. Yeah, there is a lack of understanding about all that. Yeah. Where, you know, people truly believe that if someone lays hands on you, you're receiving healing. And that laying of hands was necessary for you to receive healing. Yeah, was it? No. Because when that person lays hands on you, the Lord doesn't need new stripes to provide your healing. He doesn't need someone to lay hands on you to have new stripes to provide your healing, does he? No. So, therefore, by his stripes you're healed, was done, is done, will always be done. Someone laying hands on you doesn't make any difference to whether that is done already. You know, I was saying to her about that. I'm saying, no, I mean, the whole purpose of someone praying for you is they're supposed to be helping you to receive, but the whole way the church understands it, they don't understand it in that way. I said, so, yeah, you know, speak to God about how you need to receive it. Because if you've been healed, you just need to receive it and you need to learn how to receive it. Now, I don't know what uh, God wants to do with this lady. Yeah, I'd guess she's in her 70s, I'd guess. Um, she's in a wheelchair. She struggles massively to get around. So, yeah, with that being the case, when I said to her, I said, you know, whether you'll be here when the Lord comes back, I don't know. I said, but the Lord is coming back soon. But she said about a lady called Cat Care. I think Cat Care. Let me check that out for one second. Bear with, I just want to check that out. Because she said, yeah, cat, C-A-T, and then care. 
So I will check that out on YouTube. Let's see if I can find this person. This person is supposed to be someone who has been where God has shown this woman heaven. And she talks about it. So, okay, let's see if we can find that. The problem is, I guess, if I go onto YouTube and type in cat care, it can be videos about how to take care of cats. So <laughs> that's not helpful. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's giving me cat care center and all that. So, yeah. I typed in cat care then heaven. Oh, it's not spelled that way. It's cat, K-A-T, and then K-E-R-R. -R. That makes sense then. <laughs> well, there you go. So, yeah, when she said cat care, it's not spelled that way. It's spelled K-A-T, and then K-E-R-R. -R. Yeah, cat care. It's, um... Yeah, cat cur pets in heaven. Okay, she's talking about pets in heaven. Yeah, I've already said that already. So that doesn't do anything because I've already I've already mentioned that many many times. And so yeah, be interesting to have a look at what she says at some point. Oh, she's doing that. No, I'm for goodness' sake, she does that. Famous people, she's seen heaven and hell. No, I've got no interest in that at all. No, I have no interest in anyone who comes back and does a video on... Yeah, because really, if God had shown me heaven, I wouldn't be saying about anyone I'd seen there. Not in any way, shape or form. I wouldn't be saying about anybody I've seen in there because it's not about that. It's about him. It's not about celebrities in heaven or hell. You know, so no, I wouldn't do anything like that. So the fact she's doing that... I don't think she's being guided to do that. I don't know why she's doing it. So anyway, so there you go. Interesting that uh, you know God put me on this woman's heart. That's cool. What exactly that means and what for, I do not know. But um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So there you go. As I say, with regards to my hopes, I have yeah. You know, let's see what God's going to do about all that, shall we? Because time will tell, and I think very, very soon time will tell. So there you go. You take care, God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Have a wonderful week. And yeah, enjoy.